What did you learn from directing your first film? Well, I learned that I could do it. I mean, I think I, I, I thought I could do it, but um, I think you don't quite know until you're on the other end of something like that, that you can do it um, completely. You sort of have to take the leap and hope that there's a parachute attached. I mean, one part of my experience of being, of learning how to direct was being on film sets as an actor. But I, I've been l so lucky to be on different sets with different directors and DPs and all of these different people who took me under their wing and explained to me what they were doing, how they were lighting a scene, where they were putting the booms, how we were actually getting it. I always hear about guys whose parents got them little Super 8 cameras and they started making films. And I, it not, I mean, I'm sure my parents would have gotten me them if I had asked for it, but it wasn't something that you gave girls as much. Mm. But what I did was put, put on plays with everyone I knew. Mm. And I would put on mm. plays with my friends. And it's, I would, it's still and, a very male-oriented business. Was, did that make it hard to get a very female-centered film off the ground with Lady Bird? Yes. Uh, How hard uh, was it to get off the ground? Well, I mean, it's a female-centered film that is not... Um, important with a capital I that people yeah. could identify as, oh, this is, this is worthy. This is Wonder Woman. It, or, yeah. or, or just that it didn't, it, it's about people's lives in a quotidian way. It's not about something so large. And it, I feel like as a writer and as a director, I'm picking up little tiny pebbles. I wish that you liked me. Of course I love you. But do you like me? I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? When I was taking the script around, and um, and because it's a love story between a mother and a daughter, I remember every every man I talked to, who was raised with sisters or who had a daughter said, I know this, that's my wife and my daughter or that's my sister and my mom. And guys who didn't, they said, I don't, do women fight like this? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, oh, you've never seen this because why would you know that this is what this relationship is? That being said, I mean, I did, once it happened, I, never, I was not asked to change what the script wow. was at all. Greta, what about you? What would you do if you left film? Uh, well, I, my, I mean, my first love was actually th uh, theater more than anything else, the theater and dance. And I didn't know movies were made by people. Mm. I, I, I thought they were handed down from gods. I, I, <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I genuinely, I knew, I knew people must have made them, but I didn't know who they were. And it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized that oh, the, these are made by people. And part of it was I started watching films that um, weren't products. They had personality behind them. And I hadn't really seen quite that. Like I, in New York, there's Film Forum and Anthology Film Archives and Museum of Moving Image. And I started to see these very particular, strange movies that I wasn't totally sure what to make of. But they felt like... like I remember the first time I saw... Um, Tropical Malady, the Abby Chapong film. Where, where is that? That cool? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I thought it made me angry because it's a bifurcated structure and I'd never seen anything like it. And I was like, what is this? It's clear to me that it's clear to him, but I can't figure it out. And I went back again and again. And I had the same experience with, um, we were talking about Claire Denis' film, uh, Beau Travail. I mm. sort of couldn't, but I saw it, I suddenly saw it as, art and made, as made by people. I knew that when things came up that were problems or difficulties or something went awry, that that was not a deviation from the path, that that was the path. And I had that. And that, for me, that was very helpful because it didn't feel like, oh God, the whole thing is going to fall apart. It was like, well, that is, that is what it's going to be. We're going to lose this location and this person, it won't work and we're going to have to move this around. But it didn't, so in that way, I didn't have a moment of like, I had no idea that this was going to happen. I had a much, I think, more sh a strong sense of 
the problems are the road. The, the, that's and the that's a, what it's saying is the obstacle is the path. Yes. And always yeah, the obstacle always. gives you solutions yeah. that you find uh, far more Better. interesting and far more yeah. crazy. Is there for a reason? Ready? Okay, quiet on set. Mm. And okay. I look down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, I'm John Boyega. I'm Sam Rockwell. Well, I'm Defoe. Emma Stone. Alice and Janney. Thank you. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. On YouTube.